Hi guys and welcome to Project Diaries. Now today's video is a bit of a long one because I feel like I need to do a disclaimer. A lot of people are getting triggered over everything these days. Uh, so I just thought I'd do a bit more of a longer introduction to catch you up to where I'm at with this. This is not going to attack anybody that's on various diets, especially meat eaters and omnivores. I was an avid meat eater. I even did the, car uh, the keto and the carnivore diet which I then ended up being in hospital with a ruptured appendicitis and I nearly died of sepsis. But if it works for you, that's great. I'm not trying to tell anyone what they should and shouldn't do, uh, but I just want to get that out of the way. And I decided not to upload it at the time because I was being shadow banned, but a year on, it's still the same problem. My videos are being limited at 10,000 views. I don't know what's happening with my channel, so I don't really care about the YouTube algorithm anymore. I just want to do this video to help people, and as much as the haters say I'm doing this for sympathy and donations, I don't really want any of that. I purely want to do today's video to help people who have been in a really terrible situation to what I was back in the day. But for those who don't know, uh, I did get very ill over that period and I wasn't able to do Project Diaries for a very long time and I was also on crutches for around 18 months. Uh, you know, my life was quite difficult and there's been a lot of people asking me how I managed to get back on my feet. Uh, so today is that video. It's quite an old one, but I, like I say, I thought I'd do an introduction because there are some uh, time jumps. I'm doing a lot of walking videos now and that is since I've now come off uh, the, the crutches and stuff that I was on before. So my disclaimer for this one is, this health diary video should not be used to replace medical advice. Due to time restrictions, I cannot include the whole six weeks process. Please do not try this without speaking to a healthcare professional first. At the time of recording this video, I was suffering from anemia, tachycardia with my heart problems, joint pain, severe stomach and intestinal problems, and I've also been waiting for operations since 2015. During this time, my doctors have prescribed me numerous medications that just seem to be making my symptoms worse. Because of this, I then failed a health examination and they cancelled my operation one more time due to the side effects of all these medications. So I decided to take my health into my own hands and try today's experiment by using a whole food plant-based diet as medicine. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. So let's get on to the intro. In today's project diary, I will be giving you a completely honest breakdown of my whole food plant-based diet six week challenge results. Hi guys and welcome to Project Diaries. Today's video, I want to do an experiment on myself. Now, if you've been following my channel closely, you'll know over the past year, I've had some extremely bad health issues. Uh, what with my back being a problem, referred pain going up to my shoulder and neck with trapped nerves and sciatica. I've also had a heart attack due to the amount of stress that I'm under due to uh, problems with the NHS and just not being able to see my doctors. I've been tested for Simonella, E. coli, uh, even Crohn's disease, and now I'm being tested for bowel cancer. And it's just, life's just getting too much. Uh, all the stress is now uh, giving me uh, some skin problems on my face. I usually have to exfoliate before I do these videos. And life's just getting too much. So I just thought I'd show you what I get prescribed on a monthly basis. Now, this is, this is ridiculous. It, this is anything from painkillers, from Zapane, uh, to anti-inflammatories. When you take anti-inflammatories, you've got to take Lanzoprazole to protect your stomach. I've then got to take high fiber drinks and laxatives. I've got lidocaine, which if the pain doesn't work, it gives me a sort of, um, anesthetizes the pain slightly. Uh, I'm on amitriptyline for sleep, uh, depression and nerve pain. Uh, they are also, I've become immune to those, so I've been given uh, nortriptyline, yeah, nortriptyline. For my skin complaints, I'm doing all of these different creams, and it's life just getting me down, to be fair. I know uh, I, I always sound really happy and bubbly on here, but because this is my escape, this is fantastic. And those of you that don't know, just off camera, I've usually got these crutches, because over the past couple of years, my condition's getting worse with uh, with um, sorry, um, with my arthritis in my joints, um, so basically the doctors have, have said there's nothing more they can do for me. So um, so I've done some research on my own, um, and. I've, I've found that I'm I'm not going to do any of these anymore. Um, I've had enough. 
out of all of this medication, nothing's working. I'm still in loads of pain. I'm still in loads of stomach problems. As you can see here, this is what I look like <laughs> below this. Um, so I'm, I'm not gonna become a pharmaceutical <laughs> cash cow. And I, I don't believe anything that the doctors are saying. They seem to, they've actually point blank told me that they don't know how to treat me and that they're not sure what they're gonna do. Um, so I'm gonna take things into my own hands. Um, and I've done loads of research of my own and found out that plant-based diets, now, it's so mad that even though I've got, okay, oh, <laughs> life's just crazy. Even though they've done tests for Crohn's disease, they told me to uh, have a better diet. Uh, now they're talking to somebody that grows their own food and has an extremely healthy diet anyway. So I'm going to go one step further. I'm going to block out everything. I'm going to block out alcohol, sugar, salt, fats. Uh, I'm even going to try and do a majority of raw plant-based diets and I want to see how this goes because I've, seen, I've literally tried every single thing that the doctors can give me. So I can't, I can't get any worse. And what have I got to lose? This isn't going to be a little fad. I know lots of people are turning into vegans. Uh, I'm not going to. I'm not going to turn it into that. I'm just purely doing this. I'm not even going to label it. I'm just going to do a diet for food that I've researched that is going to help me. So if you'd like to keep my uh, carry my journey on and uh, see how this goes. <laughs> Sorry about this. I'm so upset. Uh, join me and let's see how this goes over the next six weeks. And here's how I do it. <laughs> Coming off some medications suddenly can be extremely dangerous. Do not try this without fully understanding your risks first. So I've given it a good month. This uh, update's taking a bit longer than I thought. Uh, it took me a while to get off uh, morphine and, and the opiate-based and codeine-based uh, pharmaceutical drugs. Um, so I've made sure all of those are out of my system in order for this test not to be biased. I've actually gone from being uh, an omnivore, pescatarian, vegetarian, I've even been a, a vegan for a while. Um, but still, even uh, vegan diets still can be really unhealthy. So this is purely going to be a plant-based diet. It's going to be uh, mainly raw. I have done loads and loads of research on all the foods that I'm eating. But having said that, let's go shopping and pick up some goodies. So I've ended up filming so much footage in the supermarkets today, I'm going to do a separate video. So the links will be on the screen now. So I'm not going to count today as the first day, uh, only because I had uh, a dinner and a light snack. Uh, so I'm definitely going to start with this tomorrow. But I've already started to get the uh, the sort of sugar and salty cravings. Um, and I was quite hungry before I went to bed today. Uh, so I've just gone and had a banana to get rid of that um, the sugar craving. And I've had a handful of uh, dry roasted peanuts and some um, sultanas and a clementine. So hopefully that's going to suppress my hunger until the morning. But I'm still pretty hopeful. So let's get ready. I'm going to get my hair out. <laughs> Don't get to see this much, do you? I'm taking my taking my cap off but anyway I'll see you again in the morning take care so welcome to the world of insomnia it's uh, 4.47 I went to bed at about 12 my body's exhausted but my brain just won't turn off welcome to my world So I basically just woke up sneezing because my hay fever is bad today. But uh, I'm not even going to take the meds for that. So I'm just going to power through. My neck's really hurting as well. So I think I slept funny. But there's not much I can do about that. I just think I overdid it yesterday. So uh, I think today's going to be a bit of a write off. But I'll try and go and see Granddad later. Happy days. So for breakfast, I'm going to avoid any kind of white bread, brown bread, anything with white flour in it, and I'm going to stick with whole grains and whole wheat. So I'm basically going to have this cereal. Uh, I've got loads of uh, blueberries and cherries in it. I'm going to top that up with some coconut milk. Uh, and I'm also going to have a banana and a clementine and maybe an orange later. And then I'm going to add some more yogurt with uh, some extra fruit on top of that in a bit as well. 
So I'm just gonna use this. This is about three times as much as I would usually eat as well, just in one bowl. So I'm really gonna enjoy this. Tuck into that and then I'll show you again what I have for lunch. Now obviously I'm really tired today, but other really good breakfast ideas are porridge. Porridge is packed full of dietary fiber, vitamin B1, iron, magnesium, zinc, and loads of protein. And adding fruit, nuts, and seeds also increases your calcium intake, your antioxidants, omega-3s, and the nuts are packed full of healthy fats, making porridge one of the healthiest meals to start your day. Smoothie bowls are also a fantastic release of energy, so I'll be doing a kitchen diaries on this one soon. And you'll never believe it, but I can actually make healthy pancakes out of bananas, peanut butter, oat milk, and cinnamon. So I can't wait to show you this recipe and the cinnamon also acts as an anti-inflammatory, which is fantastic for me right now. So that's my lunch. I'm pretty much gonna eat this every day. There's so much goodness in this and I just can't wait to eat it every afternoon. So I'm just gonna get this in my face and then uh, hopefully go up and see granddad later on. So just because I'm changing my diet, it doesn't mean I'm gonna thrust it upon other people. But seeing as I've already eaten, I found the time to take granddad and his girlfriend out for lunch and they absolutely loved it. Look at these beautiful smiles. It's so good to be out with these guys. So it's been quite a tough day without any sleep, but it's hard to sort of judge how this new diet's going because obviously my energy levels are really low. Uh, I've had a fairly good day considering uh, I've had a nice breakfast and a fairly healthy lunch. Uh, obviously a really healthy lunch. Uh, the only time I felt weird is just leaving Grandad just now. Uh, usually I have a cup of tea with him. I only have one sugar in my tea uh, and uh, usually treat him to a, a bit of cake or some biscuits. So I haven't been able to do that today. So it did feel a bit weird and I, I think he just felt that little void. So it's weird how you get used to certain things, uh, certain routines, but it's something we're both gonna have to get used to. I'm still really positive. My energy levels are low, but hopefully tomorrow I'll get some more sleep and we can just carry on from there. But anyway, let's go on to the next. So I was just having my morning shower and I noticed this bad boy, not happy at all. I didn't even have spots in my teenage years, so I don't know what's going on here. It's probably my body detoxing, but I really hope there's no more surprises in store for this. This, is, this has got to go. So I really seem to be struggling today. Uh, my energy levels seem really low. Uh, I keep getting these really tiny sort of uh, headaches it's just really minor but they, they're, they're quite annoying um now obviously i've i've completely um changed my diet really aggressively uh, and taking all of this stuff uh, like sugars and caffeine and things like that out of my diet straight away so i'm gonna ha have uh, lots of withdrawal symptoms so if you are going to do this I'd, I'd probably recommend doing it a little bit more subtly and 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 gradually do this but obviously i want to do this as quickly as possible so uh, i'm still eating uh, breakfast lunch and dinner uh, i'm consuming uh, quite good meals lots of avocados peanuts loads of bananas loads of high energy stuff but my energy levels are just really low so i'm gonna have to do a bit more research into uh, more foods that are calorific and try and get my energy levels up but um, I'm still quite hopeful but again it's like lifestyle against the diet so I'm definitely not going to blame the diet for doing this but I'm going to carry on. So I think I cracked my problem uh, even though I was taking in over the recommended amount uh, a daily doses for a male um, I was still taking in the X amount of uh, calories I just still wasn't getting enough nutrients and vitamin D uh, vitamin B12. Obviously I'm going to get vitamin D from the sun now, we've got a glorious day. So this was my stats before, highly recommend getting this uh, chronometer app. It was absolutely game changing. Uh, I really thought that I was taking in enough nutrients but as soon as I started putting it into this app I realised I was quite, uh, quite low on a few things. So this chart has given me a really good breakdown. As you can see I'm actually under drinking water despite the fact it's really hot and I thought I was hydrated. My fibre and the majority of the vitamins are really high. Also I thought I was consuming enough coconut milk and yoghurt but as you can see my vitamin B12 is quite low, my vitamin D, my vitamin E and my calcium are quite low. I'm taking in great levels of omega 3 and 6s but my protein is quite low as well so I need to up that. So now I've made those tweaks I'm pretty much taking in almost twice the amount of uh, daily calories that I'm supposed to and yet I've still lost 6 pounds. So almost everything is in the green apart from my vitamin D, which you can get from 10 minutes of being in direct sunlight, so that's nothing to worry about. I've noticed the app isn't registering my sugar intake or my mono or polyunsaturated fat, so I might have to tweak that. 
but I'm now absolutely smashing the calcium, the copper, the iron, the magnesium, phosphorus, zinc, and an incredible amount of protein, and all this from 100% plant-based intake. Also remember, I'm unable to do any exercise due to my heart and my back, so to feel these benefits already is really great. Now this is due to, uh, I mean, I didn't have lots of weight on before, that was purely just my system being backed up and having loads of toxins with constipation and everything else that I needed to then counteract with the, uh, the laxatives. But now I'm on all of this fiber and a really healthy diet. I'm not gonna go too much into the details, but uh, bowel movements are definitely uh, better than they have been my entire life. Everything's going really smoothly. So uh, I've lost about six pound in, in just access stuff that was in, in, my, in my body. And I do feel like I'm losing a bit of weight, but my energy levels are coming back up. Everything's going really well. This, this app has absolutely saved my life. So I definitely recommend getting that. So onwards and upwards, let's crack on and see what else is gonna happen. So today's been the biggest revelation. I've realized that I haven't had any uh, sort of gastro problems, indigestion, heartburn, uh, reflux in days. Uh, so this is definitely down to what I'm eating. Um, so as you can see, I've really upped up my portion sizes. I'm not calorie counting anymore. I'm basically just checking the app to see what I'm low in and then I'm eating those foods like vitamin B12. Um, and I'm just, I'm really loving the food. I've also done loads of research into other diets and realized that my body was in ketosis when I was in America and I ended up having a ruptured appendicitis. So I definitely don't agree with any of these kind of fad diets that are just out there to, to try and sell books for doctors and, and people like that. So please do more and more research into what diets you've got. Even doctors were telling me that I should eat more fish and more red meat, but I haven't had that in my diet for ages and I still had loads of health problems. But yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying it so far. It's so good not to have any problems. I actually burnt my esophagus and the doctor said it would never recover. But I mean, I've, I've had to avoid eating sort of um, onions and peppers uh, and sort of really hot spicy foods. And I, I used to love curries, but now I seem to be getting on really well. Uh, I might start introducing cooked food into my diet again soon, but I'm doing really well so far and I'm just onwards and upwards. Plus the sun's amazing, so let's just carry on. So I'm two weeks in and I've really enjoyed doing the raw plant-based diet, but I really miss lots of things like rice and pasta uh, and warmer hot foods for the evening. Um, so I'm gonna start doing uh, one warm meal or hot meal, cooked meal uh, in the evening. So that's gonna be my main meal. Um, and I've also done lots of research. As you know, I'm constantly doing research to find out more to help me. And I found out that lots of raw plant-based diets are low in antioxidants. Um, so basically, I'm gonna start introducing cooked foods such as celery and broccoli, asparagus, uh, carrots, tomatoes, cabbage, and I really wanna get some sort of sweet potatoes in there as well, lots of legumes as well, uh, and um, garlic and onions. Uh, people don't really want you to, to eat raw garlic because you're gonna end up stinking. And cooking food down will also really help with flatulence if you've had any of that from the raw plant-based diet. So today I'm gonna to cook a curry, and here's how I do it. Now if you want to know the whole recipe that I used, you can check out Kitchen Diaries link on the screen now. Now it's an extremely complex subject, but I do want to give you some information on how your gut will change on this diet. Now there are trillions of different bacteria within your gut that helps you break down food and absorb nutrients. Some are good and some are bad. If your diet consists of high fat processed junk food, this will feed your bad gut bacteria and cause you to have cravings. This also includes high sugary drinks and snacks. Having an increased level of bad gut bacteria in your body can significantly impair your overall health. Junk food is designed to have high fat, sugar and salt content, but very low nutrients. This is why some people never seem satiated on these foods. But feeding your good bacteria can stop these cravings, allow you to stay satiated longer and give you significant energy and health improvements. So if you had a really unhealthy gut in the first place, you may experience lots of gas and bloating. Now my natural balance for my gut biome was completely destroyed by all of this medication. It took me around three to four weeks to get the balance right, so if you're having these problems, definitely stick with it if you can. And definitely don't do it as aggressive as I did and introduce fiber more gradually. Eliminating processed foods and introducing fiber slowly should help minimize any stomach problems. So it's my first morning off in a while. I've got no hospital appointments, no doctor's appointments, and no scans or follow-ups or anything like that. Um, and my body's treated me to a lay-in, which is absolutely incredible. I'm starting to feel like my insomnia's gone, my depression's gone, my anxiety's gone, my heart's feeling a lot better. 
and I just feel great even though I'm not allowed to exercise at the moment my muscles really feel like they want to work out or they want to do stuff where before that I just felt so fatigued and weak and achy I just feel great it, this is in, insane I, I don't even know what to do myself I'm, I'm so happy today it's uh it's great so I'm gonna just get out and enjoy the sunshine maybe go and see granddad but we'll, we'll just see I'm I'm I don't even know what to say, this is absolutely incredible. So I haven't been out of bed long, but I really wanted to try and finish this animation that's been taking me months. I really just haven't had the brain focus, I feel really foggy and cloudy due to sleep deprivation and the medication, and pain really stops my focus as well. But I've realised, I've been working on this for a while, but um, I haven't been wearing my glasses. I usually have to wear these, they're covered in dust, look. Uh, I usually have to wear them for screen work and driving, but obviously my eyesight's getting better and my brain function's getting better and my energy levels are just improving so well. I never even thought about that one, but this is great. I'm going to carry this on and see what else happens. So my energy levels are improving so much now, I actually made it up into the garden and I've just finished filming a Project Diaries live video. The link will probably be on the screen, I've uploaded it before I even finished this one. But everything's really great, all my bloating's gone, you'll probably notice in that video that my stomach's really flat, my sleep's getting better, uh, my pain's getting better, uh, everything's just really good. I, I do have a lot of pain now, I've finished uh, filming this, but this is purely down to structural, this is down to my spine, this has got nothing to do with uh, muscle inflammations and any referring pain, it all seems to be just coming together a lot more better. Um, but my next new challenge is, I haven't really had a social life over the past 15 months, I, I pretty much just go from home to granddad's whenever I can, but I've been bed bound like I say. So I'm going to try and get my life back to normal, uh, I've, I'm feeling really good, so I've been asked to come out by a lot of friends and family over the next few weeks, so my next challenge is, can I find whole food? going out to restaurants and eating at other people's houses. It's a big challenge, but let's see what happens. Significant change in my taste and my smell. Uh, usually I just feel like I'm eating for the sake of it and because these are the foods I really need to eat, but I'm absolutely loving them now. As you can see, my portion sizes are huge. This is uh, a vegetable spaghetti bolognese that I've done. There must be about 20 different vegetables in here. It's absolutely mad. I've also noticed that my heart palpitations have stopped and my overall uh, mood has completely changed. I'm really uplifting and everything's really good. So I'm just gonna tuck into this and see what else happens. So on a side note, just for the uh, the fact that I've eaten a bowl which was probably suitable for two people and I've consumed a massive meal, I don't feel bloated, I don't feel like I need to go and have a lay down or really sluggish like you normally would on an oil based or a meat based meal. I feel really energised, <laughs> I could probably go and have some more fruit and uh, and a bit of yoghurt now. So anyway, that's that's some of the meals that I've been eating now and this is absolutely incredible, full of energy and I'm ready to rock for tonight. just been invited to a family barbecue, obviously it's going to be the toughest thing in the world, but I just found out that Waitrose is doing loads of vegan stuff and I'm so excited to get some of these sweet potato burgers. I've got some uh, beetroot burgers, uh, even though I'm going to get to my soy policy, it does actually say somewhere on here that there's uh, GMO free. So I'm just going to give these a try, usually I'd go for a raw plant based, uh, but I'm going to try a little bit different because it's a family barbecue, so I'm going to give in a little bit. Anyway, well excited, let's go to the barbecue. From the back. So these sweet potato burgers are 100% plant based and the coloration looks incredible. Oh, perfect. Now thankfully I do have some vegetarians and vegans in the family so I've been assured that this is the vegetarian side of the barbecue. Just going to make sure these clean burgers don't touch these greasy sausages. <laughs> I've also got these baps and rolls. Now these don't have any white flour, soy or dairy products. Now when I first started this diet a lot of people were trying to put me off but they've seen so many health changes within me now. So many of them people are now actually asking me for advice on nutrition. I've also found that since telling people I'm on a plant based diet rather than on a vegan diet, people try to interact with me more when it comes to food. I found the V word can be a trigger for a lot of people and this is mainly down to vegan police making people feel like no matter what you do for your diet and look after animal welfare, it's still not good enough. Now as this was a last minute family event, I've had to go and buy whatever I could but I've done the best that I can and I'm really happy with these. So you said you couldn't do a vegan barbecue, look at this, absolutely sweet potato burgers with uh, vegan mayonnaise and uh, red cabbage 
couscous in a bun and a pizza with beetroot patties with lots of awesome salads. I can't wait. What a great family barbecue. Let's do it. Okay, so my uncle Colin here, I don't know if you can see the resemblance. This is granddad's youngest brother. He's over from Australia, that's why we're doing a barbecue today. And I'm gonna let him try this. He's gonna tax my dessert. Oh, looking good. I'm gonna get a bit of yogurt on there. We'll try a little bit of that. So what's, what's this thing? What, 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 what am I eating? This is a berry quinoa crumble. You've never had it before. What do you reckon? What's the verdict? 100%. Yeah? It's fantastic. Oh, fantastic. Fabulous. <laughs> oh, mate. It's the winner. Hey, what's going on? Mm. Happy you. life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you want to try more? So I've been back from the barbecue quite a while now, but I really enjoyed hanging out with Uncle Colin and the rest of the family. A big shout out to all of my Australian subscribers. You may have noticed that I didn't eat the uh, fake chicken nuggets, the soy ones, uh, but I've come home and had them for dinner now and I regret every second of it. They've given me heartburn and indigestion and I'm not a big fan of these processed vegan meats anyway. I never had them in my diet before and I really regret buying them this time around. So I'm definitely gonna go back to 100% plant-based foods uh, I'm, I'm just finding a really good groove, so I'm, I'm really getting involved in it. My next thing is uh, wondering whether I'm going to go out for restaurants with friends and how I'm going to eat out. There are quite a few vegan places, but again, a lot of those uh, are tofu and, and soy based, so I'm going to cut that out as well. But anyway, onwards and up to the next. So I've just finished cleaning my teeth, and I don't know if you can tell, they're getting so much whiter. Now the enamel was actually uh, affected when I was a kid because I had to have so much medication when I was a baby. Um, but, I mean, I've tried different uh, different whitening toothpaste, I've even tried the bleach with the gum shields, I've tried everything, but my teeth look really white. I'm really quite happy with my smile now. Well happy. Anyway, <laughs> let's see what else happens. So I just want to film this quickly before I go out for the meal. As you can see, I'm all dressed up, I'm ready to go. <laughs> I just want to say how much my hair feels so good. It feels so much cleaner. It usually feels wiry. I have been losing a bit of hair. I don't know whether this was down to stress or the medication, but um, I just feel, it feels really great. And also my skin's clearing up. Um, I've not really used moisturizer this week. I've used it once and that was just over the counter stuff. So nothing that was prescribed for my skin problems. It just feels, feels a lot smoother and a lot less dry. But yeah, anyway, let's go out for this meal. So I've had an absolutely amazing time out with the family, but I wish I could say the same for the food. Being a Sunday, only roasts were available, and even though the waiter did try and accommodate me as much as possible, I haven't eaten much at all. Uh, I find it really weird that they were offering corn-fed chicken and farm salmon as a healthy option. As you know, these aren't really healthy uh, foods at all. But I have been asked to go out again tomorrow night, and I'm picking the restaurant this time. So other than that, let's see how we get on tomorrow. So we went out for a Sunday dinner with all the family last night and it was absolutely impossible to eat. Everybody wanted a roast, so it was either uh, chicken, beef, lamb, uh, even the salmon was um, farmed, so I was completely against all of that. I had a, a tiny salad and went home really hungry. But today I've actually come to one of my favorite Leban uh, Lebanese restaurants and uh, I've gone for the top of the menu and the top five things on there are vegan. So I'm gonna fill my boots today and see what I can order. I'm gonna probably order the lot. So there's so much choice here, I absolutely love it. There is a bit of oil on the hummus here, but it is homemade, so it's really fresh. The falafels are amazing. There's a really nice bit of mixed salad here. I think these are called sambalzuk. There's also some sweet potatoes and one of my personal favorites, baba ganoush with such a smoky flavor. And I just cannot wait to get this in my face. It's amazing. <laughs> So this is one of my all-time best things to do is mint tea. I've got one of these at home and I absolutely adore it. But what I usually have is a very small amount of sugar in it. So today I'm not allowed to do that, but uh, still enjoying myself. So to give you a breakdown on where my weight was before starting this whole food plant-based diet, to give you various calculations, I weighed in at 9.6 stone. That's 60.9 kilograms or 134.4 pounds. Now two weeks in, my weight dropped by 10 pounds. So I was then 8.8 .8 stone, 
which is 56.4 kilograms or 124.4 pounds. Now I think the reason why I dropped this amount of weight is because you can have up to 10 pounds of undigested food in your system at one time. And as you saw at the beginning, my stomach was really distended and uncomfortable. Also within the first week, I really thought I was eating a lot, but I was severely under eating. I think this is one of the reasons why people become malnourished and fail on a vegan diet. I was satiated and eating a lot of food, but it just shows that they weren't high in calories. So depending on how you organize your meal plan, you can use this for weight loss and muscle gain, which is why it's really important to plan your meals and learn about nutrition. But after working out my healthy fats, upping my fiber intake and really upping my protein levels, I then gained seven pound of muscle in four weeks without even working out. Now bearing in mind that muscle weighs more than fat, so I now weigh 9.4 stone, 59.6 kilograms or 131.6 pounds. Now I am really happy with this weight gain and I think as soon as I can get back to the gym, I'll be able to put muscle on really quickly. So here we are six weeks in, what a journey, what a change. I feel great, this is the best I've felt in about four years. I, I, I just don't know, it's absolutely amazing. I might look a bit tired now, that's because I've just come back from the hospital, it takes a four hour round trip, but I've done my pre-op uh, and they've done my uh, ECG for my heart, they've done blood tests, urine tests, they've checked all of my health and they, I've, I've gone through with flying colours. They're so happy with me. A lot of the nurses and some of the doctors can't believe I actually came off all of my medication and done all this on a plant-based diet. But this means that both of my operations are now gonna go ahead. I cannot be more over the moon. That does mean that this uh, channel is gonna take a little bit of a hit because as you can see, while I've been uh, recovering, nothing's been growing. I haven't been able to get in the garden at all. I don't know if you can see there, even the grass is dead. We've had a heat wave this year, which has been great, but I mean, it's just destroyed everything. But this means that I'm fit enough to now get these operations. And that was the aim of this six weeks. The other thing was, is that I can't believe over the amount of uh, years that I've been seeing numerous doctors for my heart, my kidneys, uh, for my liver, for my bladder, my bowel, for my arthritis, for all of my referred pain, all of these doctors, not one single doctor has asked me about my diet and what I eat. And it just shows you that so much that you can consume really causes inflammations in your body, causes so many different side effects, which again, doctors don't really have the nutritional know-how. They, they just know about pharmaceutical drugs, so they're gonna prescribe you these different drugs that have so many, so many different side effects that can cause more harm. Now, I'm not gonna demonize all medication. I understand there's a lot of people out there that have a lot of life-changing medication, so I'm definitely not demonizing that. And again, like I said in the disclaimer, this was an experiment on myself. I'm not saying that anybody should do this or try exactly the same system as me. It's quite scary, but I felt like I had nowhere else to go, and it was the, the, only, the only thing I could have done. I, I tried everything else, so I'm so glad I did this experiment, um, and I'm just gonna continue it. It was only gonna be for six weeks, but I'm, just, I'm in that mindset now. That's how long it took. Now I understand, and I've done a lot of different diets over sort of a month or so, it's just not long enough. You really wanna give it six weeks to two months for your body to really change on these different diets. And it's life changing. A whole food plant-based diet is absolutely incredible if you do it right. Again, there's a lot of things out there that you can eat that, that can cause troubles, but as long as you get that balance right, it's amazing. So I will be going into doing loads more different videos. I've obviously taught you how to grow loads of stuff, so now I'm gonna tell you why growing those can give you nutritional benefits. I'm gonna help you do loads of uh, medicinal um, videos to help you like turmeric and things like that that can really help with the body and healing. Uh, I'm also gonna go into doing sort of more health benefit videos and hopefully fitness. As soon as I'm back on my feet, I'm not sure how long this uh, recovery is gonna be. I'm actually having my leg operation done in the next couple of weeks, so they've given me a date for that. So. I might be offline, I'm, I'm just gonna let you know, I'm not sure what's gonna happen. I've still got some old videos, like I've said, that I've, I've not been able to uh, edit and finish, but I am over the moon, I cannot. Oh, I hope I, I hope you can see that all the changes in me, I feel absolutely vitalized and, and just energetic. Now obviously, no diets are gonna fix my disability. I am uh, still having problems with my neck and lower spine, but everything else has gone. In fact, I think I'm gonna even, I think I even wrote it down. So this diet has helped me with so many things. I don't have any more uh, anxiety, no more depression. My insomnia is gone. I've had insomnia a majority of my adult life and it has completely gone. 
Uh, most of my aches and pains and my referred pain in my shoulder and everything else, that's all gone. My arthritis pain has really reduced. All the inflammation has reduced. So my knee and my leg, my hips, all of that pain has gone unless I overdo things. Like if I do too much, uh, then obviously that pain comes back. But the inflammation, that's all gone. Uh, my IBS, a majority of that have gone. There are still some things that I eat that, that flare up. Uh, so I will be doing another video on that to try and help people with IBS and, and sort of bowel issues. Uh, another one that's not really that great, but uh, thankfully there's no more blood in my stool. Obviously that's what triggered off the, um, the awareness for bowel cancer and prostate cancer. So those tests still need to be done, but there's, there's no more blood in my stool. Um, there's no more bloating, my stomach's really flat, everything's great. I'm not constipated anymore, so loads of fiber, everything else is really great for your diet. Uh, I'm not fatigued anymore, my head's not fuzzy, I can really concentrate on, on doing some work and getting getting some more videos sorted out. I feel, I feel really focused and really sharp. Uh, my heart palpitations have all gone, that's fantastic. Even though I was really scared about coming off uh, beta blockers after the last problem that's all gone that's absolutely one of the best things and some of the upsides is my teeth are a lot whiter my skin's better my hair's look so much better it's so much softer food food just tastes better everything it took about four or five weeks now I really like the food but there was something that changed on that sort of five week mark that just made everything taste incredible I was missing sugar and and sort of had uh, fat and salt cravings all of that went after four or five weeks, which is amazing. And now everything, the sugars in, in fruit, it's just amplified. It's fantastic. Your, your taste buds are so numb because they just want sugars and salts and fake processed foods. But as soon as you take all that out of your diet and you really start appreciating the, the natural flavors in things again, um, I'm getting so much more rest. My eyesight's improved. My energy is just is through the roof. It's fantastic. Like I say, I'm not allowed to, to go to the gym yet, but my muscles are ready. I can feel it. They, they're just energized. They want to go out and do more. My motivation is crazy. I'm extremely focused. And my, like I say, my mind is, is sharp. I'm just so over the moon with all of this stuff. Uh, but obviously, like I say, this isn't going to fix my disability. I'm not expecting any kind of... Uh, you must be crazy if you think any kind of diet is going to uh, cause that, uh, cause my dis disability to be okay. So I'm still going to have referred pain when I overdo things. But all in all, coming off this medication was one of the best things that I've ever done. Uh, like I say, I'm not demonizing loads of other medications. But if you are going to try this at home, please do your own research first. Like I say, I will do uh, lots more videos to try and help people if you want to try and do this at home. Leave some comments in the message box below. Let me know what's going on. Let me know if you tried a, a whole food plant-based diet. Just let me know uh, what kind of diet you're on in general. Like I say, I'm probably gonna get trolled a lot for this video, but I've had so many health benefits and you can't argue with what I've done. This is my opinion, my experience. So if you've had different ones, then that's, that's down to you. But this is fantastic for me. I'm gonna continue living on this diet and hopefully get through this, uh, this this operation without a hitch hopefully you've enjoyed today's video i'm not sure when i'm going to get back to do more but anyway take care of yourself and good luck growing see you soon if you'd like to keep up to date on all of my future releases click the subscribe button here here are some links to some of my other videos and if you tried this or any other project i'd love to see your progress so please join my facebook gardening group where thousands of people are sharing photos and ideas daily thanks for watching and i'll see you again next time